certainly right now in this country out of the pandemic phase. Namely, we don't have well, after making those comments on PBS NewsHour, Dr. Anthony Fauci is now telling CBS the pandemic is not over, but that the U.S. is in a decelerated and much more controlled phase. So here in the Bay Area, some counties have some of the highest case rates in the state. KPX 5's Austin Moran is live in the newsroom, and Jocelyn Health experts say it's too early to call this a search. Yeah, right, Len and Amanda, they're calling this a wave right now, but they also say let's use this time to be ready. One very important resource that many public health labs have right now is the ability to do genomic sequencing for variants. We got an inside look at just how critical this is. Cases are rising once again in the Bay Area. What we don't know is, is this a foothill to a big mountain in front of it? That is a real surge. Dr. John Schwartzberg with UC Berkeley Public Health says we can use this time to prepare. Really bring together our resources in case there's something bad around the corner. This machine here is helping indicate if there could be something worse around the corner. It does genomic sequencing to identify variants that could be of concern. We actually make it happen within 24 hours or less. CEO of Clear Lab Sasan Amini says many state and county public health labs use it, and the technology has improved. He says an operator spends about a half hour loading the samples, and then the machine goes to work. This way, they actually load the samples today. Next morning, they have the results back, so the public health professionals can take action. And they're hoping this could be improved even more. I believe that this is actually uh, fast enough and very actionable for them, but there's definitely room for even further accelerating the turnaround time. Now, one challenge they talked to us about is that, as we know, many people are now getting tested with those at-home testing kits, so a lot of those samples don't make its way back to a lab. They're hoping solutions to this will soon be talked more about, but this technology, they say, is very necessary in our fight against COVID. In the newsroom, I'm Jocelyn Moran, KPIX 5. Yeah, that